<laughs> We've got about five minutes left on the chat. We'll There's another one that I really like as well. Though. Sorry. Hide Your Heart is an old album that I did. When right? was that released? It was, but I recorded it in Woodstock in America with um, uh, Desmond Child, okay? Mm -hmm. And um, uh, that album, it, 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 it's sold over the years, you know, it's always ticked over. But, uh, but to me, that is one of the best albums I ever did, Aco uh, apart from, of course, Celebrate, which is my new album coming out on the 22nd of June. <laughs> which we're going to talk about very briefly in a minute. We've only got a few <laughs> minutes left, and we do want to hear, we will go and see the new single before we play out. Oh, so yeah. A couple of very quick questions. I'm sorry to interrupt, but we're going to try and rattle through as many. Uh, Julia from Bonn in Germany has just joined us. Been a fan for over half my life. You've always inspired and encouraged me with your music. I just wanted to say the chance to say thank you. Um, and I'd like to know, with whom could you imagine yourself doing a duet in the near future, and is anything planned? Well, Julia, can you sing? <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, who do I imagine doing a duet with? Well, I don't, I don't really know. I have been thinking about that Katie Tunstall, you know, but she's, um, you know, like she's a new fly and yeah. I like, and so that probably won't happen. But That would make uh, an interesting collaboration, wouldn't it? But I think it, it could be. Yeah. I have got a duet, actually, on this album, mm -hmm. um, the album Celebrate, there's a duet on there with um, Lorraine Crosby, and you probably don't know who La Lorraine Crosby is, but her, she was the girl that sang with Meatloaf, um, um, I'd do anything for love, but I won't do, do that. that. And you know that the girl singer in that, everybody yes. thought it was me, but it wasn't me, it was her. And we went, we, we're big mates anyway, you know. Mm. And her um, fella, Stuart, he wrote two of the songs on, on the album, right? And um, I do one of them as a duet with her. But he wrote that song actually about us, about me and Lorraine, you know, how we met and how friendly we became, you know. And it's a lovely story, you know, that song. And how, how many of the songs are on, on the album? Have you got a variety of contributors to it? or uh, um, There are... Uh, two with Stuart Emerson mm -hmm. that wrote completely. He, yeah. he wrote them on his own. And then all the other ones um, I co-wrote with uh, uh, Paul Fitzgerald mm -hmm. and with Karen Drutter and uh, Sergio and Eric, uh, you know, and different songs, you know. And you like the collaborative approach to writing songs? Yes. Very, very, uh, you know, because I, I only do lyrics, you know. I'm no good at music. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm no good at either. So let's move back. Last couple of questions before we uh, look at the new single. Uh, Regina Sweek wants to know, what kind of fans do you think you have? Do you have young fans as well, or do you only have fans that have been with you since Total Eclipse? Oh, I think we spoke about that earlier, didn't we? Absolutely. Across the board. Really across the board. But you know what? If you ever came to any of my concerts, you'd be amazed how many guys like uh, the camera guy. Now, you're only in your 20s, I bet, yeah? Fantastic. You know. Well, if you look on the DVD and some of the concert footage, you can see a, a sea of faces, old, young, everything old, in between. Young, everything, yeah. Yeah, fantastic. But the majority of my live gigs, I mean, the, the one of my DVD, the most of the DVD, is live in the Seagal. And to be honest, that is not the best of settings for a live DVD because it's a sit-down gig, you know, mm -hmm. it's like a small theatre. Whereas I like the stand-up gigs, like the, the last few... There is one clip on there of you going, come on everybody out. Yeah, but the last few, um, the, the other um, tracks on the, after the Seagal, they've put on Saragossa from Spain and, you know, there's thousands of people in the audience then. Of course, it's a normal concert where they're all standing mm. up and that's the real vibe, you know. That's the concert to me, you know. Fantastic. Well, yeah. from France to Spain and now on to Norway, where Evan has just joined us. And Evan says, Bonnie, I just love you. How oh, did your, fa how nice how did your family take it when you became rich and famous? Uh, I, I think what he's asking is, he's asking a number of questions. But I, do you, I think he's asking a question. Do you still feel rooted? Are you still sort of part of the family? Um, oh, of course, yes. I'm Auntie Gaynor, I am, darling. Uh, you know, Auntie Gaynor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I uh, no, I, you know, I've only been on for a few days mm -hmm. now, right? Because I, I came back from Portugal last week, and to to do some interviews, and I've been doing mm -hmm. interviews in the last few days, and uh, but of course, when you're not in the country very much and you're home. You try to get to see all the family, you know, so it's like, it's like a rota. Who? my sister Avis, my sister Marlene, my brother Lynn, my, sister, my brother Paul, my, oh, you know, mm. Angela. Uh, you get everybody in there and you try and see as many as the nieces and nephews as you can, you know. And it's really hard to, to, to fit everybody in, plus your friends as well, you know. But um, 
of course, I'm, I am very down to earth. I've never changed. I, mm. uh, but, you know, one of the nicest things about being famous was I was able to buy my mother and father a house in 1976, you know, with loss in France, you know, so and the, by the sea. And we used to live in a council house when we were mm. small, you know. And so it was a real great thing for them, you know. Sure. Yeah, and sure. they were proud of me, of course. Of course, they passed on now, but I feel them with me, you know. Well, Evan, I hope that answered your question. I, there are hundreds of more questions. I'm afraid we're not going to get a chance to go through them because we do Aww. want to sort of play out with your new single. Um, yeah, Louise. Talk us through it. Well, Louise is a, is a track um, that uh, is, it's about a, a woman saying to another woman, really, lay off my man because he's mine kind of thing, you know. And the videos. And the video was shot in Tunisia in, a, in an old um, battle, uh, not an old battleship, an old cargo ship, right? Shipwreck. And it's been there for half, like 25 years or something. It's a huge uh, shipwreck. But it's a m marvellous setting because it, you'd think it, it, we got lots of special effects in there, but it ha we haven't. It's just the lighting that makes it look like the special effects because all the water are coming through the holes in the ship. You know, the waves are crashing up against the ship and they're coming through the, 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 the boat, you know, while, while I'm in a safe place, obviously, on a stage, singing with the band, mm -hmm. you know. And... Uh, uh, but it was freezing, freezing cold in this boat. So the, the couple of tricks, we had a wind machine blowing my hair and everything. Well, not that it wasn't windy <laughs> enough in the ship, but it was. But it was so cold, right, that there was a lady standing behind me with a hot hairdryer so that the back <laughs> of my hair was at least getting up some warmth, you know. You're, 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 <laughs> so my hair's going everywhere, but it looks you're, okay. You're shattering the illusion. We're going to watch that in a second. <laughs> Very quickly, the single's out. The single's out, I think, uh, 12th of July. No, the, the, the DVD is 12th of July. The single, the, the album's out before 12th the 12th of June, I'm being told your single's out. Oh, 12th of June. 22nd of May, my album's coming out. Fantastic. And it's called Celebrate. Well, Bonnie, thank you very much for joining us. Thank Great. you, everyone out thank there, for joining us. Thank you, everybody, and thank you for sticking with me. Brilliant. And we'll play out with Louise. Great.